everybody and welcome back to Would You Rather? Would you rather not watch this video? Then you've clicked on the wrong thumbnail, motherfucker! Anyway, let's get on with these questions! Would you rather be killed in a Saw movie or be killed in a Final Destination movie? I mean... In Saw, there is a small chance you might escape. And in Final Destination, there is an even smaller chance, because that usually doesn't end up too well for the pretty guy like me. I'd rather be in the Final Destination movie, but at least there it's quick. Like you get ran by a truck, or killed by a knife, or something. Like, Saw movies are... I mean, I don't even have to explain that, do I? And to continue on that path, would you rather be stalked by Slenderman or take part in one of Jigsaw's games? I mean, Slenderman, just fucking kill me already. That's, that's a lot better than having my foot cut off. Chug two cups of trash juice, or chug one gallon of milk six months past the expiration date. <coughs> oh my god, just the mere thought of it. I take trash juice, really. Milk over the expiration date is... Oh my god. <coughs> oh, that's disgusting. Would you rather find a book about everything uh, from the past, or find a book about everything from the future. I'd rather go for a book about every anything from the past, so just so I can find out literally everything. Why we are here, what happened in the time in between it, like some of the biggest mysteries that we still can't fix, that we still can't figure out. I, I can find a solution in my magical book, so I'll take that. I am a person who doesn't like to know what would happen in the future, because I've, I've explained this before, imagine finding out that we're all gonna die in 20 years, then you have to live with that idea for the rest of those 20 years. And now, if it happens, it will come on a surprise, but the 20 years in between, you've lived your life normally. Well, when you know, I mean, you're gonna be stressed out, basically. So, I'd rather know everything about the past and see what the future holds than the other way around. Would you rather live in a mansion in Beverly Hills, or a penthouse in Manhattan? I'd go for a penthouse in Manhattan. I mean, Beverly Hills is cool and all, but I, I'm just a big-ass fan of a penthouse. It's like my biggest dream to live in one someday. A penthouse has been my ultimate dream for years now, so... I don't really care where it is, actually. I mean, if, as long as it's a penthouse, I'll be happy. Would you rather be stalked by a ghost for your entire life, or be stalked by a demon for three days and then die? This, the first one with the ghost sounds more appealing to me, because I, I won't die. And you know, I could connect with the ghost, I mean, we can get a bond, and we can go like grab a coffee together, and everyone will like, the fuck is he talking to, and I'm just staring at my ghost girlfriend. That's pretty normal, right? I mean, it better is a, it better is a girl, though. Fuck, what's if, it, what's if it's a boy, and I can't really tell the difference because it's a ghost? God, so many things to think about. For the rest of your life, if you had to, would you rather marry a new random person every year, or marry one random person and stick with it forever? I would marry a new random person every year, just because new people, new ideas, new responsibilities, new adventures, and maybe you don't like the first one, so you can't wait until the year is over and you go to the second one. I mean, I'm fine with that. Let me get a new person every year. Would you rather be homeless or be a slave? It kind of depends. What sort of slave am I? Am I like the slave in Egypt that just wears something around his crotch and m makes giant bricks to put on pyramids? Or am I going to be a sex slave in someone's dungeon? Because if it's the first one, no. If it's the second one, hell yes! I mean, that was a joke. I would not actually want to be your sex slave. Don't get any ideas, you fanboying bastards. Would you rather have the ability to see through anything, or the ability to get away with theft? Have the ability to get away with theft means I can steal millions and millions of dollars with no one even giving a fuck, and I can be rich and live my life the way anyone would want it, and see through anything. I mean, what would you use for that? To spot naked girls? Come on, there's a thing called porn for that. Would you rather have natural childbirth, or have an epidural? I'm a guy. What do I possibly answer to this? Would you rather have a month of intense non-stop rain, or have a month-long 100 plus degree heat wave? Are we talking about degree Celsius? Because that would mean my death. And I mean, I have got rain non-stop here anyway. The fuck do I care? I'm inside all the time. Would you rather be allergic to babies or be allergic to elderly people? I am already allergic to babies with their fucking crying and shitting and peeing and whining and blah. Would you rather know exactly what happened in Area 51 or accept one million dollars? Area 51 doesn't exist. Obama told me so. Obama. 
Would you rather have 17 testicles or have one testicle the size of a coconut? First and foremost, 17 is a rather odd specific number. If there's anything you would like to tell me, then please. 17 testicles, eh? How would that even work down there? Like, one, two, three, f that's an awful lot to fit down there. Like, do I have testicles underneath my armpits or something? Where do I keep them? The size of a coconut, though. That is one fucking massive ball. I would probably have internal testicles, like the coconut will be at the place where my stomach is right now, and I won't have a stomach. Or that will be in the place of my heart because my heart's dead anyway. Would you rather win a one day shopping spree to any store, or win a two week vacation to any destination? I'll go to the jewelry store, take everything they have, sell it for millions, and then go on holiday wherever the fuck I want and have a lot of money. Yay! If you had a machete, would you rather amputate the feet of two friends or amputate one of your own feet? Never said it had to be good friends of mine. <laughs> Fuck you, Barry. And that's been it for this episode of Would You Rather. I don't actually know a Barry, so don't worry, no one's in danger here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for your support, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!